Something tells me Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have a better chance of fixing their marriage than I have a chance at fixing this cart and getting the hell out of here, but I might be able to continue launching myself towards progress. Just blind luck, you gotta be good to be lucky, and lucky to be good. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Who needs to fix when you can just get a new one? Now we're really Donkey Kong countrying. Even though, I don't think DK ever moved at the speed of smell. You know, he had big arms to lift the carts and open doors. Why is everywhere in this world not fish accessible? It's pissing me off. Uh, I mean, maybe that stick wants to help me? It, it could be excited to see me or it could be having a seizure. What's up guys, welcome back to I Am Fish, where these four little fish have been separated against their will, but using the power of love and friendship, they're gonna come back together as a family. And get their violent revenge against the surface dwellers, uh, I can't forget that part. I really hope at some point on our journey we find out who makes these fish solitary confinement bubbles. Like, I know that the pet store lady is high on our revenge list, but at the same time, not only are these things incredibly immoral, like, no pet should be put in something like this, but they also have the build quality of a Fabergé newborn. I swear I swim in shards of glass as much as I do water. Now, I'm not trying to say that life outside the bubble is particularly better, because flying in a game called I Am Fish is, well, about as easy as swimming in a game called I Am Brick is a whole lot of complications, and I definitely don't want to dry out. But fortunately, it looks like we were kidnapped by a mud farmer, and oh, the crops are looking extra moist this time of year, whereas I, I I'm not so much. The fish are, Interesting pets, you can only teach them to roll over once and then you gotta go get a new pet. We might actually want to be careful with how much we're flying out here because it's very open and I I'm hearing a concerning amount of chirping and tweeting around me. And like, I don't mean agricultural social media. I mean like how long on our little journey until I, I become food for a bird? Like, I it would be like a hot dog trying to escape from your kitchen and make its way back to the cow fields, the, the raccoon forest, whatever they put in hot dogs these days. <laughs> Point is, we all know it would end up as hobo poop long before it makes its way home, and I don't want to be hobo poop. Oh, right. We made it this far last time, and I smacked into that metal wall. Surprisingly, fish bounce about as well as hobo poop, which is to say they splatter. Come to think of it, I've never heard of a seaside cornfield before, so how far are we from the ocean? Are you kidding me right now? I need to fly through an entire city? How? Like, I, I'm a fish, not Mary Poppins, and every single jump is just blind trust. I have to hope that there's gonna be life-saving water on the other end of this. Okay, we just gotta make a couple of quick in-flight adjustments, everything is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I know there's gonna be a little turbulence, but we're gonna work things out. <laughs> you see, this is the difference between an airplane and a fish. You can tune an airplane. Y you can't tune a fish. I gotta be honest with you guys, I I've been waiting to break that one out for about three episodes now. I hope it was worth it. Terrible fish puns aside, should I be concerned with what I'm swimming in right now? Like, is this just the world's cleanest sewage, or is it runoff from the fields that I was just in? He's like, I know I was just swimming around up there, so it's kind of a moot point, but at the same time, I don't want to know what that farmer has been spraying on his crops to make them grow in dirt. It's like the consistency of jello pudding. It's definitely concerning. I could sprout a couple of legs, which I guess wouldn't be the end of the world, right? Best case scenario, I can walk my way through the city. Worst case scenario, I can kick some ass. Here's a million dollar question for you guys. Do you think that's water or fire? A fish should definitely be able to tell, and I, I can't because I'm a surprisingly slow fish. Okay, uh, we, we might want to pick up the pace. It is water, that's the good news, and we've got bread. I don't know if we can swim in that. This doesn't look particularly helpful. Oh, it's a shortcut. Okay, well that's really lucky, probably not gonna gamble my life on shortcuts like that again, especially for just a little nibble of bread. 
I, I may like to fly like a bird, but I don't need to act like one. Oh, oh, this is good. It's a river, right? Bridges usually have rivers underneath them and rivers usually lead to the ocean unless they're blocked off, really. So can I not follow the river to the ocean? I don't get it. I think we might be a little bit lost here. I had assumed that the ocean was in that direction because that's the way that I was looking, but the river is running in this direction, which makes me think that the ocean is probably this way, even though the only exit is through this pipe over here. So are we going back to the farm? That doesn't seem particularly helpful. We don't have much of a choice here. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh. We're up in the dilapidated water wheel. Okay, I'm not really sure how that's gonna help us, but it's something I suppose. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this! Don't mind me, fellow kids, just manifesting fish destiny over here. I think we might actually be able to do, I mean, we can do this, we can, we can do this, we can do this, there you go. Way to go, little guy! <laughs> now what? Part of me is really concerned that there could be a fish market down there, but then the other part of me thinks that I should probably just focus on the whole flying aspect and not the fish aspect. Think we might be able to get over here? Okay. We're in luck. Surprisingly, all these people are shopping underneath what can only be described as swimming pools held up by bed sheets. Seems a little off. Not sure I would be trusting that, but then again, what do I know? I'm just a dead fish. No, you know what? I'm gonna take that back. Even if the opinion of rooftop marine life isn't particularly valued by these people, I still think I can criticize them for putting their signs 20 feet in the air on telephone poles, and it just says fruit and veg. As if people couldn't figure that out by simply walking up to it. I can't believe I cleared the sign. <laughs> All right, things are going well. Uh, That's assuming we have more water. Oh crap. Well, after half a dozen awkward nose dives into the sidewalk, we're making progress again. I still don't understand why these people trust these setups. I trust them about as much as I trust that checkpoint. What is going on down there? I think the trick here is gonna be to deploy late and avoid the women? Ah! Uh, oh! I don't think these fish are doing well. They're looking awful flat and stinky and dead. I don't think they have insides. Well, fortunately, they're in about an inch of water, so I'm not gonna dry out, but I am gonna have fish PTSD for the rest of my short life. Oh, there's a bucket. I've never wanted to be in a fish gut bucket more in my life. Please get me the hell out of here, squirm herder. This is not what I wanted. This is my worst nightmare. Like, imagine if these were all people. I'll put it to you that way. If you really put yourself in the fish's shoes, it's a bad analogy for fish. You know what I mean. Don't mind me, everybody. Just a casual mop bucket out for a stroll. Please don't kick me. If you kick this bucket, then I'll kick the bucket as well. I, I really just want to make my way to the ocean. I don't suppose anybody has directions to the ocean? Really appreciate it. I mean, I would assume that the ocean is downhill and that's the easiest way for me to go. Stay away from me, you cow. <laughs> Not interested in trouble right now. Everything is fine. Okay, this could have been worse. Is that guy drinking a 2-4 of vodka in the middle of the afternoon? <laughs> Maybe we should avoid the angry drunk. Here we go. Uh. Is this a ramp or stairs? I guess there's only one way of finding out. Okay, um, it's neither a ramp nor stairs. It's, it's just trouble. Oh, okay. Well, the bucket was short-lived. You see, the problem with being a fish who only acts like a bird is that I never actually get a bird's eye view. So I have no idea how much of the city we've gone through so far or, or how much could be left, but I'm hoping that well is gonna lead to somewhere other than to a little girl who wants to kill me with a VHS. I mean, wells don't typically lead to the ocean or anything like that, so I don't have high hopes, but you know, bins crossed that there's water down here at all. Oh, that's it. We're out. Okay. So are we just gonna live the rest of our life in a well? 
Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Wells don't typically lead to sewers, right? I mean, I I've never been around a real well in my life, I don't think, but usually you drink from them, and you don't want to drink whatever piss-flavored green Kool-Aid this is. I also don't really want to swim in it. Like, it's up in the air as to whether or not I'll escape or, or get fish hepatitis. Oh, oh, no, I, I thought I was actually going to escape. There, there was daylight. We were right there. This can't be good. Canis? Wait. Rocks are natural. I'm nature. Maybe this is gonna eject me out into the ocean? I, I really doubt it. Oh, wait, no. No, don't, don't spit me out deep underground. <laughs> this is the last place I wanna be is a flying fish. You gotta be kidding me. What is all this? What did I do to deserve this? One minute, you're a housewarming gift to a mud farmer, and then the next, you're getting fired out of a cannon like some kind of t-shirt at a baseball game. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this. I'm just going deeper and deeper. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Neither does bouncing like that. Can fish get concussions? I get the feeling my brain is swollen right now. Something tells me Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have a better chance of fixing their marriage than I have a chance at fixing this cart and getting the hell out of here, but I might be able to continue launching myself towards progress. Just blind luck, you gotta be good to be lucky, and lucky to be good. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Who needs to fix when you can just get a new one? Now we're really Donkey Kong countrying, even though I don't think DK ever moved at the speed of smell. You know, he had big arms to lift the carts and open doors. Why is everywhere in this world not fish accessible? It's pissing me off. Uh, I mean, maybe that stick wants to help me? It, it could be excited to see me or it could be having a seizure. I don't know if there's gonna be enough real estate for me to make this jump. Oh, okay, perfect. There we go. And now I am free? I don't feel very free. Are you kidding me right now? I got smushed. I got smushed. Let's try that again, except for this time, we don't want to end up the consistency of something that could be spread on crackers. Is that asking too much? I think think it's not, but then again, what do I know? I'm just a dumb fish. Okay, wait. Are we, are we alive? We're alive! Yeah, we go. <gasps> Feel the need to point out that when turtles fall in the sewer, they get to say cowabunga and eat pizza. And meanwhile, I, I get this. Oh, I thought we were going to open the door, but it looks like we just made it fish accessible. All right, that works for me. Am I gonna need that cart, though? Is this gonna be a, a whole journey? It's looking like it. <laughs> Never that simple. Well, there's another cart here, and another stick that's looking awful shaky. Interesting. Oh, what is going on? Uh, come on, I, I got a six second memory. How am I supposed to figure these things out? You only need to point out that Goldie had to roll his way downhill without breaking, and meanwhile, I'm flying around underground trying to solve the quadratic equation and get my way back to the surface. <laughs> it's completely ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we flooded things. The room is gonna fill up. That'll probably screw with whatever machine this is. Someone's gonna come into work Monday morning and be devastated that one tiny fish ruined their multi-billion dollar water mining business. I'm not really sure what it is they're doing here, to be perfectly honest. I don't even know what I'm doing here, as you can tell by the fact that I keep smashing my adorable little face off of things. Speaking of which, maybe we should try doing that on purpose for once? Like, could I uh, give that a boop? There we go. Okay, green is good. Maybe. I gotta admit, a lot of these jumps are way steeper and way more complicated than I thought imaginable for a little blue fish with a swollen brain, but I may have underestimated him. You know, he's doing better than anticipated. Come on now, don't make me look like an idiot when I'm finally talking good about you. <laughs> we got this. Okay, so we're following a wire to see if we can get another button, and I would imagine it's over here somewhere. Beautiful, okay, nose first, right into... Listen, close enough. I'll take close enoughs. Thankfully, some of these jumps are a little bit easier than others. Okay, so we've got three doors open. 
and this thing is just chugging along for whatever reason. Again, I don't think I can ride it to freedom, not only because it's rickety and has a mind of its own, but it's only ever gonna go downhill. I wanna go up, damn it. That doesn't particularly help me. Oh, I see. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try my best. This seems sketchy though. Ugh, come on, you, you got this pool. There we go, and maybe I am gonna somehow ride this to freedom, but I really doubt this. We're going further down. Is this not problematic? Am I losing my mind? We're definitely getting to Donkey Kong Country now, but <laughs> come on, please leave the ocean. Uh, what kind of villain's evil underground lair did I just find? I really hope that's an educational diorama and not Elton John's real skeleton. Otherwise, I could be in a lot more trouble than I expect. This place is super weird. It's just- Colin Burke, boss of labs report number 359. How did Dr. Robert not predict this? He should have known Bobs would eventually gain sentience. Now they've escaped labs and began living across Barnardshire with no knowledge of what they're supposed to be. They were made for surgery. They were made to let anyone become a surgeon, and I'll be damned if my son doesn't deserve a better future than that of a baker. Whoa, 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 oh, hold on a second. So this place is the origin of I Am Bread. It's the origin of Surgeon Simulator and I Am Fish. It's some kind of like abandoned underground lab where they made the bread, even though they didn't say bread, they said bobs. Whatever bobs are, bobs became sentient and escaped and I'm so confused right now. I need to figure out what they mean by Bob, because I, I thought Bob was the patient. You know, the guy who bought the bread, the guy who crashed his car. There was only one Bob, but evidently not. There seemed to be a bunch of Bobs. Colin Burke, off the labs report number 387. We still have a couple of Bobs down in labs, and the most peculiar thing happened. One of the blood vials seemed to almost come alive when a Bob was near. After a few more tests, it would seem Dr. Robert's new blood formula might be the reason for their rise in intelligence. Incredibly short-sighted, but if I can get some of Bob's blood within range of a Bob, its reaction will be a dead giveaway. My son might still get the chance to practice surgery. Oh, oh, hold, hold on a second. Like, just to be clear, if your son wanted to be a surgeon, he could just go to school. You don't need to risk a fish uprising for it. It sounds like they found a way of determining what's a bob by getting them close to one another. Do I need to worry about finding bobs down here? Or breads, or anything like that? I'm kinda hoping this is actually abandoned. So far so good, not running into anything. Okay, we would like to run into the cannon, and... Really? It's... How are you gonna hit the rim like that? Let's go for a two-pointer, shall we? You don't need to be a hero, there we go. That's a whole lot better. All right, let's have a look around. Definitely looks like- Colin Burke, Mossa Labs report number 453. The answer was right in front of me this whole time. I took some of Bob's blood and added it to a batch of bread at my bakery. As predicted, when brought near a Bob, it practically came alive. If I could get this bread into the hands of any Bobs in Barnardshire, it'll tell me for sure that they're the Bobs made for surgery. I could track them all down. Now, the technique is not perfect. A loaf of bread seemed to have its animalistic tendencies persist even after no bobs were around. So I must get around to fixing that. Otherwise, things could get very much out of hand. Oh my god. That explains everything. Ew. And the, the living bread is blood bread? So they, they put Bob's blood into the bread, which made the bread come alive. And then the whole point is when the bread is around a Bob, because there are more than one patient, there are lots of Bobs out there living, then it, it acts and you can tell that it's a Bob. So the guy who crashed his car was actually a, an experiment. He gained sentience and then escaped and just started living his life. They tried to hunt him down. That's why the car crashed and and then Dr. Robert came and picked him up and brought him to Surgeon Simulator. This is just, this is mind blowing. I can't believe this right now. Do I want to plug that in? I don't think I really want to plug something in. I'm a fish. Water and electricity don't mix particularly well. 
Then again, uh, might not have a choice. Okay, give it a shot. Easy. Is that a good thing? I hope that's a good thing. Go back to my bucket. Oh, we probably unlocked this door. Yeah, okay. I was wondering why there would be a line there. It still doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's an elevator. All right. Do I need to jump and hit the button? Nope, because we're free-ish. Again, I'm still stuck underground, nowhere near the ocean, but we're learning a whole lot about ourselves and what made us how we are. All right, you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of I Am Fish, guys. What a mind-blowing episode. I, I said at the very beginning that I love the fact that this is a crossover between all the Bosa Studios games, and it's so much better than I could have hoped for. And this is just one of the four fish. We learned a lot with Goldie. We're learning a lot with the blue fish. Now we still have puffer fish and the piranha fish and, and one more level with the blue fish. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to uncover what exactly is going on with Bob's. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.